I look so gross. I look like a four-year-old boy, but it's okay. Um, hey everyone, what's up? I hope you're doing good. I, I, um, I'm not really ready to film this video. Like, I don't really want to film it, but like, I kind of have to. I don't have to, but like, I want to. I don't know what I'm going to speak about in this video, and I have no clue how deep it is, but like, before the video started recording, I was basically like, crying in the shower, and I don't know why. I just felt like a bit, um, I don't really know what's going on with my life recently. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling, and it's so weird, because I, I never really get like this. I never, ever care about feelings but for some reason I'm just like being so nice and stuff and I really feel myself changing like as a person and I don't know why it's so weird and uncomfortable but like I'm not sure how to feel about it I'm like 98% sure that I'm not gonna upload this video because if I do upload this video it's just gonna make me look like a I don't even know what it's gonna be like it's gonna make me look like a pussy I don't care about looking like a pussy I just know a lot of people I know are gonna watch this and they're gonna probably be laughing or be watching it like being confused or like why is he making that video I just don't even know what to think. Uh, I don't really care either, actually. I'm just gonna film this video and not care about anything, because I'm not gonna lie, if I ever wanna be successful in life, I want to be successful for being myself, and that's what I wanna do in my life. I just wanna be myself and see where it gets me. I don't know. I don't really have any dreams or goals. Like, I'm low-key so unmotivated with everything, and it's so annoying. <sighs> I don't really understand why I'm getting upset though, that's why it's so confusing. <laughs> I didn't even think I'd cry in this video, but I guess we're gonna cry a few times. I haven't even talked about anything deep yet. I don't even know what- I don't- I don't even know what I'm going through. I must be having some sort of breakdown or some shit, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, I've got a couple of topics that I wanted to talk about, actually. Just, just so I don't forget, I'm gonna write them down in my notes, because I do want to talk about a few things. My whole family are in right now, and they can probably hear me crying, so that's pretty funny. They'll probably all be watching this video as well. I'm probably thinking like what the actual frick is going on. Okay, I don't know what the frick just happened But I I've calmed down a little bit. I just tweeted about me crying and it made me like laugh a little bit Do you know what I mean? I think my social medias are such a good place for me to like vent out and actually like talk about how I'm feeling and stuff Even though I never actually seem to talk about like how I'm feeling and stuff because I feel like I don't, I don't need to Like why why I feel like I don't even know what I'm saying I just don't feel the need to speak about other things that are relevant to you guys. Do you know what I mean? So I basically wrote down five topics that I'm going to be speaking about in this video and I think this is going to clear so many things up. This is probably going to be the realest video I will ever upload on my channel because it's just genuinely me. It's how I'm feeling. It's what I'm going through. I'm making this video so I can basically look back on it in like a couple of years time and just like laugh at myself and be like, wow, you are such a little rat. I just can't wait to like, well, I was going to say be happy, but like I am happy. Like I'm genuinely so happy with my life right now. I never cry. That's the thing. I had the chance to cry in front of Ben and Millie the other day because I, I felt like I wanted to cry and they were like you can cry like, and I genuinely feel like I can cry in front of them because they're like, my best friends. I just didn't. I don't I don't like crying in front of people. It's so cringe but here I am crying in front of like a thousand people. <laughs> I just um, know my family are going to be watching this video and I just I don't really care. I don't really like any of you that much. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the most, it's like the most, it's the biggest thing out of all of these. It's just like the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Um, It's just so annoying. It's not the worst thing that's ever happened to me I don't think but I think it's the worst thing that's ever happened to me online. So basically, I think it happened on New Year's. I made a video about Kira and Morgz's fake relationship. I exposed their fake relationship. Even though their relationship's real now, I basically just exposed some bullshit. Like, go watch the video if you haven't watched it already. Me and Kira used to be friends, and then I basically snaked her out in a phone call. Um, it was bad. I don't know why I did it. I was very influenced by a certain person who was with me when I made the video. It's fine though. Um, I never ever blame people for my own mistakes. After I made that video on New Year's Eve, she basically posted some screenshots that I posted on my private Instagram. I'm gonna post the screenshots on the screen somewhere, just so you can like see it, like, we're, we're talking about it, so you might as well see it. So I found both these screenshots from Twitter. Twitter's an interesting place. If you're not already following me, go follow me. I post the best tweets ever, do you know what I mean? Like, go retweet some. I saw this tweet, and it had, like, it was basically, it's classed as a meme. I'm not saying it's a meme, but it's a meme. I, I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for saying that. Like, am I gonna get called racist again for thinking it's a meme? I don't know. I have a very dark sense of humor. Like, my humor is so dark and it's so weird. Like, I genuinely don't even think anyone can relate properly to my humor because it's so messed up. But I guess that's why I love myself a lot. Like, I feel like I'm the funniest guy in the whole entire world. Like, I'm low-key so funny, but I don't think people see that. I don't even think I'm that funny, actually. Maybe I have bipolar, I'm not sure. I posted it on my private, didn't caption it. It was wrong. I shouldn't be laughing at those kind of things. It's messed up, I know. The next screenshot is 
it's some racist guy tweeting out some stuff. And I posted it on my private Instagram story without no caption. And then I posted a story after that with a caption, basically tagging my friends saying it reminded me of their dad. And for some weird reason, Kira screenshotted that from like two years ago and posted it onto Twitter. The only reason this annoyed me so much is because she took it so out of context and she knew she was doing that. It was the only way she could actually get back to me. So she screenshotted that first one and not the next one just to make me look bad. That really did show what kind of person Kira was as well. Even though I'm basically in the wrong for making a video, snaking her out basically. But like the fact that she screenshotted that from so long ago is so random. And basically because that happened, loads of you guys thought I was racist. And this has been going on for like two, three months now. Like it's basically still going on to this day. And it's super sad to see because I tried apologizing to as many people as I could over like Twitter DMs, Instagram DMs, but obviously trying to reply to everyone isn't good enough and not everyone's gonna see your apologies and everyone's still gonna think you're racist. I'm not racist. I've never said the N word in my life and I never will. I've been brought up well enough in my family to know that that's wrong. Do you know what I mean? I haven't, I'm not raised in a bloody bin. I do you know what I mean? I know what's right and I know what's wrong. Like, why would I be racist? It's super annoying, but I think I have to make this video just to let you all know that I'm not racist. I'm so sorry for everyone I offended. I think everyone makes mistakes and I feel, I'm not asking for sympathy in this video. Like, I honestly don't want sympathy. I don't want any of that shit. Like, I'd rather you leave me a hate comment. Do you know what I mean? I don't, ugh, thing is, I, I want to say that I don't care if you, if you people forgive me or not, but like, the fact that I had people being my viewer, they were a fan of my videos and they love me so much and then they hear all this stuff and they see all this stuff about me and then they just lose respect for me and they don't they're not a fan of me anymore like it genuinely does upset me and I know I have this like persona online where I don't care about stuff which I don't but like when people care about me I care about them like you don't understand how much I love my viewers because <sighs> I love my viewers I love every single one of my viewers because they've changed my life so much. Every single one of my viewers have changed my life so much. And as cringy as it sounds, I don't give a shit. I'm living the best life ever and it's genuinely all because of you guys. And I'm so grateful for that. And you don't understand how hard it is when people go against you that like used to love you as well. And I feel like it's so sad for me to just see like all these horrible tweets about me because I genuinely think I'm kind of a nice person. Like even though I may seem like this massive prick online, I, I always get people come up to me and be like, you're so different in person. I was at a YouTuber party the other day and I was meeting so many YouTubers and um, I think about like four people came up to me and they were like, you are just such a nice guy and it doesn't come across in your videos. And I was like, yeah, because like being nice is so boring. Like why would I want to make videos being nice it's so boring do you know what i mean like i like i am a dick this is the real me like i am a dick in my videos because i'm a dick in real life as well but i also can be like the one of the nicest people that you, that you could ever meet like i genuinely do think i'm a really nice guy and it upsets me because people just don't see that side of me i also love to portray this image online where like i'm a troll i love trolling people and i love like i just love getting people triggered about stuff if i've ever been involved with youtube beef it's because it's completely sarcastic like i've never never ever been in real YouTube beef. It's because I don't care that much. I really don't care that much about beef. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm the most sarcastic piece of shit you'll ever come across in your life. I don't even know when I'm being serious or sarcastic half the time. It's actually a problem. My name is Kami and I have sarcastic mitis. <laughs> I'm just so annoying. I hate myself. So yeah, that's one of the topics I wanted to speak about. I'm really not gonna lie. 2018 has probably been the hardest year of my life so far and it's literally, it's April. It's bloody April for frick's sake. Like, what is going on? I've got a few more months left. It's crazy. Roll on 2019. I'm so ready for it. Anyway, uh, that's enough for the whole racist thing. Another thing I wrote down is family life. There really isn't much about my family life. I think I've never really fit in with my family. The only person I actually basically like in my family... Obviously, I like all my family, but, like, the person I look up to the most is my dad. Like, my dad is one of those people that have, like, started from nothing and now he's, like, he's, like, kind of... He is successful. Like, my dad's low-key sucks a legend and I do look up to him a lot. But he also does really annoy me sometimes, but I guess that's like what parents do. They're supposed to annoy you. I don't really fit in with any of my family.
family, like even my cousins. I've always been the different person. Everyone's always spoken about me. I've always been just the person that like everyone loves to talk about. Do you know what I mean? I make YouTube videos for frick's sake and I've been doing it when I've been growing up. Do you know what I mean? So I've always been that weird kid that talks to a camera. So like growing up, are you, not, I wouldn't even class myself as a YouTuber back then, but like growing up being this weird guy that films videos in his room, you're gonna get a few people talking shit about you. Do you know what I mean? But I don't know, being at home is so depressing for me. I really don't like it here. I mean, I'm grateful to be here. Like I have a home. People don't, some people don't even have homes. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying I'm not grateful. I think I've got so much ambition to make something of myself that like being here just isn't healthy for me. I went through a really bad stage at the start of the year because um recently I've been hating filming sit down videos because I just haven't been feeling like myself. I would just be waking up and I'm looking at my clock and I'm like, why am I even waking up? Like, what is there even to wake up for? And I can't believe I ever felt that low. And I told my friend Daniela when I stayed around her house because um, you know when you have friends that you can like tell anything to? She is such a mum figure. She's such a babe. Like, Daniela, if you're watching this, I love you so much. I can talk to her about anything. And I was telling her how I felt and she was like, I'm pretty sure you have depression. And I was like, like, I don't have depression because I don't feel sad about shit. But like, I was going through such a weird time. I think I've changed now. I don't wake up anymore feeling like that. I don't feel sad right now. I genuinely feel happy. All shit that I've kept in and haven't even spoken to anyone about it. I have a lot of real friends that I can speak to genuinely. But why do I not speak to anyone about this? You guys are the first people that I'm actually like talking about this shit with and it's so weird. I mean, my family are cool, but sometimes it's nice to just get a like, how are you? And not a like... Are you making money? Are you still making those videos? Are you still getting paid a lot? Like, it's nice to actually get asked how you're feeling sometimes, you feel me? But it's chill. My family are messed up. I mean, I do love them, obviously, they're my family. But being here isn't the right thing for me. Like, it genuinely is time for me to move out, which is what my next topic is. Also, more things that have just been messing me up. <sighs> Frick sake! I've been crying this whole video! <laughs> It's so annoying. I look so good right now. I look like I've just smoked a fat blunt. Another thing that made me feel super upset, my best friends in the whole entire world, my best friends in the whole entire world, like, moved out without me. And it's, like, all my fault that, like, I didn't even move out with them because I went through a stage where I really needed to move out. The only thing that was getting me through, like pretty much like my whole life, was to just move out. My dream has always been to move to London with my best friend. But like, I messed up and it's so annoying. I don't even know how to explain it without putting like Jordan under the bus, but like he is basically one of the reasons why I didn't end up moving out with Millie Spencer and Ben. Um, the fact that my best friends have moved out together is so upsetting for me because it's not that upsetting. I, the, the only quote I live by is everything happens for a reason because it does but when I'm around their house and I'm like staying around say like a couple of days the way we get along is just so amazing like we're such a family and when I have to go home like back to my house I just leave them there I love having someone to talk to about shit I love having deep conversations and I have deep conversations with every single one of them I think something that's cheered me up a lot though is becoming friends with Jacob again because I think this time around I really do appreciate mine and Jacob's friendship and me and Jacob have been close but we've never been like emotionally close but like this time around I genuinely feel like that's happening and it's so nice I really want that boy to actually be able to talk to me about his problems because I'm always there for my best friends I'm always going to be there I hate people feeling like they can't speak to me about stuff do you know what I mean I want you to I literally just want to be there with my arms open and like they can just run into me and I can hug them and then we can just like chat about stuff and just make each other happy that's what I love to do because having friends is so important and I really really value your friendship when you find yourself some good friends you just you feel great they can just cheer you up when you need it like they can tell like they just help you do you know what i mean i love my friends so much even if i haven't mentioned any of your names like even if you're friends from home and i've grown so much with millie spencer ben jacob lewis i've genuinely got close to them all so much i've never been like that in my life i mean i have i've been in so many friendship groups but like i've never been myself fully i don't think and it feels so good to finally be in a friendship where like you're all just on the same level like we're teenagers we're youtubers and there's not many people like us hanging out like there is not a lot of teenage british youtubers hanging out and like doing all the crazy shit we do do you know what i mean i'm basically vlogging my life hanging out with friends going to different places traveling going to events and that's my job that's my life that's what i'm literally doing for a living do you know how messed up that is why is it a thing it's crazy i'm so grateful for everything and it pisses me off when people say i'm not grateful for shit like who 
who are you? You don't know me. You don't know my story. Leave me alone. Like, literally, leave me alone. Shit. By the way, new merch coming out soon. It's so lit. Another thing is, I didn't want to speak about this because I didn't, I think it's a bit, I think it's beefy, but I'm not sure if it is beefy, but it's kind of just real, and I don't want you guys getting confused, and I would rather just tell you the truth. I feel like I've got a good place to tell you the truth because I'm involved. The Social Climbers, which is my group. It's my friendship group that I basically just talked about. And there is a person called Jordan Houston in the Social Climbers. I mean, I guess he's still in the group. The sad thing about this is the fact that me and Jordan were best friends for like a couple of months and we became best friends so quickly just because I don't even know how it happened, but we just clicked so much. And I would never ever in my life say I ever regret meeting people because why should you ever have regrets in your life? Do you know what I mean? Just, just live life and have some fun. Who gives a shit? People are going to judge everything you do, so do whatever the F you want to do. Do you know what I mean? I don't regret meeting Jordan, but I don't know why, but just shit with me and him just went so toxic. I felt like I changed so much hanging with him. I think his mindset was so strong, and I think me hanging out with him so much, like, every day, it was, like, kind of changing my mindset and wasn't making me myself. I didn't know that until me and him stopped hanging out. I mean, this is so sad, and I'm sorry, Jordan, if you're watching. I don't want it to be, like, kind of, like, what I'm saying, but, like... I really don't see us being friends again, I think. I'm sorry, I just feel so bad saying this in a video, but I don't follow him on any social medias anymore. I just don't want any contact with you anymore because he just wasn't being a very nice person towards the end of our friendship. I don't know why. I was trying to move out with him. We were trying to do stuff. I was always ringing him constantly. And I, I just didn't feel like he wanted to spend time with me. I didn't feel like he wanted to speak to me on the phone. He was like mugging me off at one point to his friends, like when he was in the room, when he was speaking to me. And I didn't know anyone was there. And I was just trying to ask how he was and stuff. He said something being like, why is he still talking? Your voice is so drained. He meant to mute the phone call and he forgot to mute it and I was like, oh And like his friends were laughing in the background and that's when I was like, Do you know what? That's not a real friend Like you don't mug you don't mug your friend off. You don't mug your best friend off in front of other friends It's so toxic. I know it's harsh, but I do feel better not being friends with Jordan He has been trying to text me and stuff and it is sad. It's time for me to move on I, I felt I genuinely feel like I'm going through a breakup. Do you know what I mean? That's how it felt But like I have so much fun with Jordan and I love him so much and I always will but like, I just really don't see us hanging out ever again. Jordan has no beef with anyone else in the social climbers, I don't think. It's mainly just me, and for that reason, I'm not kicking him out the social climbers, because, like, he is still a part of it. He's still friends with everyone. It's not my problem. But, yeah, that's just the... The, the drama with me and Jordan. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video there. I can't even remember what I spoke about, but the main thing is the whole racism thing. I really do hope you understand that I've grown as a person. I've learned from my mistakes, obviously. I hope you understand that. And I'm just genuinely so sorry to anyone that, like, I offended. I honestly can't wait for my bloody family to watch this whole thing and just think I'm a depressed piece of shit. Because I'm not. I'm genuinely fine. Like, after I film this video, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna play some Fortnite you know what I mean? It's all chill. I've got a lot of things to look forward to. So yeah, I don't want to upload this video, but I know I'm gonna have to. I don't even know how long this video will even be. If you're watching right now, I love you so much, like so much. Like you're really wasting. Like you're not even. I would, I'd call it wasting your time, but I don't. I don't know if that's like mean or myself. But like you're really spending your time watching me talk about my problems, and that just like shows that you love me and I love you. It's so weird having so many people care about me. I'm just a boy talking to a camera. I'm really not anything special. It's. So so weird. I mean, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I don't want it to ever change. I love you so much, every single one of you. So yeah, I'll catch you on the flip side. My videos from now on are not gonna be like this, by the way. I'm really just gonna be the same person as I was in my other videos. I just have to make this video. I wanted to make this video. But like, sometimes it's okay to cry. Sometimes it's okay to be upset. Like, just let your emotions out. Something that I've learned is like, being yourself is so great. So just be yourself more.